Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, want to travel someday? Then get our free must-know travel words and phrases PDF ebook. Beginners should master these words in their very first month. Second, the Talking About Time PDF Cheat Sheet. Days of the week, months, seasons, and time-related vocabulary. You learn it all with this printable PDF cheat sheet. Third, top ways to reject invitations. Need a good excuse to stay home tonight? With this one-minute lesson, you learn how to say, sorry, I have plans, and other phrases in your target language. Fourth, most common phrases for conversations. This quick lesson gets you speaking the basics in minutes. So if you feel you're not ready to speak yet, this lesson is for you. Fifth, want the best language learning app? Download Innovative Language 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You unlock hundreds of audio and video lessons and courses and learn real language by real teachers. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get up to 35% off basic, premium, or premium plus with the 1 billion download celebration sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Dog. Hunt. Hunt. Dog. Der arme Hund. The poor dog. Der arme Hund. Katze. Cat. Katze. Katze. Cat. Die Katze versteckt sich unter dem Bett. The cat hides under the bed. Die Katze versteckt sich unter dem Bett. Hamster. 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 Hamster schlafen gerne während des Tages. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamster schlafen gerne während des Tages. Warm. 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 Das Wetter ist ziemlich bewölkt, aber warm. The weather is quite cloudy, but warm. Das Wetter ist ziemlich bewölkt, aber warm. Regen. Rain. Regen. Regen. Rain. Der Regen fällt auf die Straße. The rain is falling on the street. Der Regen fällt auf die Straße. Tomate. Tomato. Tomate. Tomate. Tomato. Mein Großvater zieht seine eigenen Tomaten in seinem Garten groß. My grandfather grows tomatoes in his garden. Mein Großvater zieht seine eigenen Tomaten in seinem Garten groß. Erdbeere. Strawberry. Erdbeere. 
Erdbeere, Strawberry. Luisa ist gegen Erdbeeren allergisch. Luisa is allergic to strawberries. Luisa ist gegen Erdbeeren allergisch. Kirsche. Cherry. Kirsche. Kirsche. Cherry. Die Kirsche ist eine meiner Lieblingsfrüchte. Cherry is one of my favorite fruits. Die Kirsche ist eine meiner Lieblingsfrüchte. Kind. Child. Kind. Kind. Child. Als ich ein Kind war, bin ich jeden Tag mit dem Fahrrad zur Schule gefahren. When I was a child, I used to ride my bike to school every day. Als ich ein Kind war, bin ich jeden Tag mit dem Fahrrad zur Schule gefahren. Freund Friend Freund Freund Friend Bis dann, mein lieber Freund. See you then, my dear friend. Bis dann, mein lieber Freund. Erwachsener. Adult. Erwachsener. Erwachsener. Adult. Manchmal macht es überhaupt keinen Spaß, Erwachsener zu sein. Sometimes being an adult just isn't very fun. Manchmal macht es überhaupt keinen Spaß, Erwachsener zu sein. Fahrrad. Bicycle. Fahrrad. Fahrrad. Bicycle. Da steht ein Fahrrad in der Garage. There is a bicycle in the garage. Da steht ein Fahrrad in der Garage. Auto. Car. Auto. Auto. Car. Bitte gib mir die Schlüssel für das Auto. Please give me the keys for the car. Bitte gib mir die Schlüssel für das Auto. Motorrad. Motorcycle. Motorrad. Motorrad. Motorcycle. Er hat ein Motorrad geklaut, das vor dem Schwimmbad abgestellt war. He stole a motorcycle, which had been parked in front of the swimming pool. Er hat ein Motorrad geklaut, das vor dem Schwimmbad abgestellt war. Roller. Scooter. Roller. Roller. Scooter. 
Der Junge fährt mit seinem Roller ins Umland. The boy drives to the urban hinterland with his scooter. Der Junge fährt mit seinem Roller ins Umland. Boot. Boat. Boot. 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 Bananenboot reiten. Banana boat riding. Bananenboot reiten. Qualle. Jellyfish. Qualle. Qualle. Jellyfish. Die Quallen bewegen sich im Wasser auf und ab. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. Die Quallen bewegen sich im Wasser auf und ab. Hummer. Lobster. Hummer. Hummer. Lobster. In einigen Ländern ist Hummer eine besondere Delikatesse. In some countries, lobster is a speciality. In einigen Ländern ist Hummer eine besondere Delikatesse. Krabbe. Crab. Krabbe. Krabbe. Crab. Die zwei Krabben laufen auf einem Felsen. The two crabs are walking on a rock. Die zwei Krabben laufen auf einem Felsen. Schildkröte. Turtle. Schildkröte. Schildkröte. Turtle. Die Meeresschildkröte schwimmt im Meer. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Die Meeresschildkröte schwimmt im Meer. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is the secret to speaking more of your target language. If you're like most language learners, then above all, you want to speak and understand more of your target language, right? Well, keep watching. You'll learn how to prepare ahead of time to speak more, how to put this tactic to use with our learning program, and how to get free cheat sheets that'll get you speaking more. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, do you know how to apologize in your target language? With this printable conversation cheat sheet, you'll learn all the ways to apologize and show respect in your target language. Second, the seven tested ways to learn language fast. With this bonus ebook, you'll learn how to use our learning system to speak better, remember more words, and improve fast. Download it for free right now. Third, medicine and medical treatments. This one minute lesson gives you all the must know words and phrases you'll need when talking about prescriptions and treatments. Fourth, the top 25 words for transportation. You'll learn how to say words like plane, train, automobile, and much more in one minute with this quick vocab bonus. Fifth, back to school words and phrases. Do you know how to say homework, 
or what class are you taking? If you don't, this next one minute lesson gives you all the words you need for the school season. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The secret to speaking more of your target language. If you're like most language learners, then above all, you want to speak and understand more of your target language. But how do you speak more when you're just starting out, when you can't yet create sentences off the top of your head? Here are some tips. Let's jump into part one, how to prepare ahead of time to speak more. So what's the secret to speaking more of your target language? It's something called preparation. And believe it or not, you've likely used it if you've ever had to give a speech or a presentation. So what do we mean by preparation? Imagine that you have to go open a bank account in the language that you're learning. How would you do it? You can go in there, grunt, and use body language, or you can first come up with a list of words and phrases you need to know before you go, like debit card, bank account, I want to open a bank account, and minimum balance. You may want to look up the grammar rules for how to say, I want to. Once you know these words and phrases, you translate them into your target language and you go over to the bank to open an account. Or let's say you're meeting a person for the first time. What are some things you'd say to them? Things like, what's your name? My name is, where are you from? I am from, and so on. So you prepare a list of words and phrases, all the things you'd wanna say in that situation. You translate them ahead of time so that you can communicate effectively. That's preparation. And preparation works because most conversations are predictable to a degree. For example, most conversations with friends start with greetings and catching up on how you've been. And if you know the lines for greetings, catching up, and talking about your weekend, then you can easily handle such a conversation. The point is, the more you prepare, the more you learn to speak without needing a teacher. So how do you prepare? Part two, how to speak more through preparation. Here are some tips. If you're using our learning program, one, take our audio and video lessons. You'll find these in our lesson library and just focus on the conversational lessons. Lessons are just three to 15 minutes in length and in the first minute, you'll hear a practical conversation. For example, meeting someone new, catching up with a friend or ordering at a restaurant. Then our teachers break down and explain every word and grammar rule. So you can learn these lines and conversations ahead of time. Number two, download the audio dialogue track. This gives you just the conversation. So when you finish a lesson, download it for easy review. Then make a playlist out of all of them and play the conversations on repeat. This will make them much easier to remember. Number three, save the lesson notes. The lesson notes give you the lesson in writing, so you can read the lesson dialogue, the grammar explanations, and cultural insights for every lesson. Download and keep the notes for conversations you think are useful. For example, if you want to talk about the weather and you took a lesson on that, then download the lesson notes for that lesson. Now, if you're looking to prepare ahead of time for specific topics, then do this next one. Number four, use our free PDF conversation cheat sheets. These conversation cheat sheets teach you words and phrases for all kinds of common conversation topics, like weather, hobbies, family, plans, and much more. You can prepare for the most common conversations with these cheat sheets. If you want to access our free conversation cheat sheets, leave a comment down below and we'll give you the link. Number five, look up lesson topics in our lesson library. If you want to open a bank account or eat at a certain restaurant and you don't know how to talk about these topics, find a lesson about it in our lesson library. Number six, if you're a Premium Plus user, simply ask your teacher to point you to lessons for certain topics, or even better, ask them for potential lines, and you can even practice speaking. Just record yourself, send it in, and your teacher will provide you feedback on what to say and how. Number seven, do it the old school way. Sit down, think of a topic you wanna to talk about. Make a list of all the words you think you need, all the phrases you wanna say or may hear in that conversation. Then translate those words and phrases into your target language. So let's recap. Most conversations are predictable. You can prepare ahead of time by thinking of all the words and lines you'll need for various conversations. And you can prepare with one, our audio and video lessons, two, conversation tracks, three, lesson notes, four, free PDF cheat sheets, five, 
by looking up specific topics in the lesson library, six, asking your Premium Plus teacher, and seven, by manually coming up with a list of the words and phrases and translating them. Everyone can find five minutes to spare somewhere in their day. Why not use that time to learn a language? In five minutes, you can jump into a new lesson, vocabulary list, or grammar point. Let's look at the concept of the five-minute rule. It's a simple idea that can help you be more successful in your language learning. In this video, you'll learn about the five-minute rule and how it can help you master a language in the long run. Point one, the five-minute rule can help you put your time to better use. Have you ever caught yourself falling down a YouTube hole? Or have you ever looked up from a simple phone game and realized you've been playing for 30 minutes? Of course you have. We have all had this experience at some point. The idea with the five minute rule is that you take some of that time you might be spending on something not so productive and turn just five minutes into time you spend learning language. You can even do this on your phone with our app. Our audio and video lessons are three to 15 minutes long, so it's easy to spend five minutes on a lesson. You can also review vocabulary and phrase lists, review the word of the day, or drill words with flashcards for five minutes. There are a ton of ways to study. You just need to sit down for five minutes and do it. There's no need to stress about how to fill hours of study time. Point two, the five minute rule can help you take advantage of bite-sized learning. Why is it a five minute rule? What's so special about this amount of time? Before we answer this question, imagine your typical day. You wake up in the morning and go to work or school. You finish in the evening and come home. You want to study, but you think about spending hours of your limited free time on learning and you lose motivation. If, however, at the end of a long day, you come home and think about spending just five minutes studying, it becomes much easier to motivate yourself and you're much more likely to actually do it. Expecting yourself to spend hours of each day studying after going to work or attending school can make you burn out quickly. You might be able to keep it up for a short period of time, but for many people, the amount of pressure they put on themselves causes them to lose motivation and stop completely. Five minutes, however, is easy to keep up with every day. You won't dread spending five minutes of your free time on your studies. And you'll probably find that once you start, you'll study for longer than just five minutes. Breaking your studies into small pieces can help you jump in whenever you feel like it. There's one simple study tool that will help you speak more of your target language. It'll help you understand entire conversations and catch every single word. It'll also help you respond in conversations. The tool is the Dialogue Study Tool. It'll help you with all of this and will help you improve your reading and writing skills. In this video, we'll look at how the Dialogue Study Tool can aid your language learning. Number one, what is the Dialogue Study Tool? The Dialogue Study Tool is a premium study tool that you can find in every lesson. The Dialogue Tool is a line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversations in your lessons. You get the dialogue script in the target language. You get the romanized version, the translated script, audio pronunciations, and access to a voice recorder for each line. Number two, why is the tool so powerful? For example, let's look at how you can use it to improve your speaking skills. When you listen to a lesson, use the dialogue to read along. As you listen, speak out loud along with the lesson. Repeat what you hear. The dialogue tool makes mastering conversations super easy. It breaks down the lesson conversations one line at a time. You can use it to make sure you understand every line, phrase, and word without getting overwhelmed. And you can also use it to perfect your speaking, reading, listening, and writing skills. If you're not sure about how to say something, you can click on the audio icon next to the line to hear it spoken by a native speaker. Then repeat out loud. You can do this as many times as you want. To perfect your pronunciation, click on the microphone icon to start recording. Record yourself saying a line and compare your pronunciation to the pronunciation of a native speaker. These tactics will get you speaking in minutes, and if you apply these to every lesson, you'll be speaking your target language in no time. But what about listening? Since the dialogue is a line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation, you can listen to each line separately, as much as you want. Just click on the audio icon. You can listen again and again and review the script. Read along with the script so you can catch every word. This will help you understand fast, native-level conversations without missing anything. Reading is another skill to improve with the dialogue tool. 
as you listen to the conversation, just read along with the lesson script that's inside the lesson dialog. If you don't know a word, click the translations that are in the dialog. You can even read with the Romanized script to help you sound out the words. Lastly, let's talk about how it can help boost writing skills. This is a very simple, basic suggestion. Just write the dialogue down in a notebook by hand. Just writing down the dialogue provided gives you a chance to practice using letters or words you might never have written before. This is especially true if you're studying a language that uses an alphabet or script you're unfamiliar with. Another benefit is that it gives you things to write. Instead of taking time to think about what to write, you can just write the dialogue down. The dialogue tool can support your studies in many different ways, and this makes it a powerful aid for your language learning. There might be times in your life when you need to learn something right away. Maybe you have an unexpected exam, you need to prepare for a new job, or you might be traveling for work. In situations like these, many people feel the need to try to study a lot of information in a short period of time. But can you really learn a language by cramming in all of your studying in a short period? In this video, we'll talk about how cramming works with language learning. 1. Is cramming effective? A lot of people would probably answer yes to this question based on experiences they had in school. Most of us have probably had the experience of staying up late the night before a test to cram as much information as possible. But how much of that information do you remember now? Cramming can work if you have a test tomorrow or a short-term study goal. For example, if your only goal is to pass a test or give a presentation within a few days, cramming isn't a bad idea, but it doesn't work very well if you want to remember what you've studied in the long run. A great example of a better way to study is with something like our space repetition flashcards. One of the most effective ways to study is to review something over a period of time. Spacing out your studies is what helps you learn and retain information best. You learn something today, you come back in two days and review it. Then, you come back in four days and review it some more. In contrast, cramming is a one-time thing. You cram a lot of information in your brain, take a test, and then forget it all. But when you review, you're strengthening the synapses in your brain. Synapses are like little roads that connect the neurons in your brain. So the more you review, the stronger the connection, and the better the recall. But what if you need to learn fast? Two, an example of a cramming schedule. Let's say you're traveling for work and you really need to learn some greetings and some basic survival phrases to make it through your trip. Time is probably not on your side. Your only option is to cram. Here's what a cram plan might look like in a case like this. Spend some time on survival lessons before going to bed. Increase the amount of time you spend with anyone you can talk to in your target language, another student or maybe an online teacher. Increase the amount of time you spend on any online language classes you're taking. Another problem related to cramming is that your study time has to come from somewhere, and that tends to come from sleep, so that's not a good thing. We don't recommend cramming, but if you have to cram, which we all do at some point, here are some ideas for how to do it. 3. Cramming Learning Program Cramming might get you a lot of fast results in a short period of time, but with just a couple of one-time study sessions, it's a strategy that won't help you in the long run. If you find yourself in a situation where you absolutely have to cram, here's what you can do. First, pick the lessons that align with your goal. Focus on just what you need. If you're learning for travel, skip the other lessons and focus on our survival phrases series. If you want to learn basic conversations, look at the top 25 questions you need to know content. If you need special phrases for the bank or the post office, we have lessons for that too. And you can find lessons for all kinds of topics and scenarios in the lesson library. Second, prioritize lessons at your level more than the challenging lessons. If you're working within a limited time frame, you'll get more value for your time by doing lessons that are at your level. You can spend more time on the harder lessons later if you find you have the time. We have a vocabulary slideshow tool and a flashcard tool that you can use for quick study sessions. Both of these features quiz you on vocab and help you learn fast. Focus on mastering a few must-know lessons. It's better to know all of the dialogue from five lessons inside out than to run through 60 lessons and not remember anything. You can also take advantage of our lesson notes. Inside the lesson notes, you'll get the lesson dialogue, translations, explanations, sample sentences, and cultural insights. We have a printer-friendly version of the word bank, too. 
Just click on that to create a printout. It'll give you a physical study sheet you can use to review anywhere. You can also print out PDF conversation cheat sheets and infographics. These teach you the must-know words and phrases for all kinds of topics. Travel, basic conversations, talking about hobbies, airport vocab, and much more. With the infographics, you can save the images to your phone and just swipe through them for a quick review. And finally, when you're ready, do a quiz session. Even if you're low on time, a bit of review can help. After you're done with a lesson, stop and ask yourself, what was the main grammar point of the lesson? Try and explain that rule to yourself in your head, or say it out loud. Remember, we don't recommend cramming as the best method for learning a language. The key to building skills is repetition. But if you need a quick study session to learn a few key points in your target language, we have the tools to help you. When you're ready to come back and review what you've crammed, we can help you with that too. You've studied for a while and are ready to talk to people and practice what you've learned, but where do you start? Starting a conversation in a new language can seem a bit intimidating. How do you just jump into it? In this video, we'll look at five ways to start conversations. Number one, introduce yourself in your target language. This is usually one of the first things you learn when you start studying a new language. And sometimes starting a conversation or continuing one is as simple as introducing yourself. Number two, talking about the weather. This is a universal talking point. People talk about the weather all over the world. And just saying, it's really nice today is enough to start a conversation. A great way to practice your weather conversation skills is to check out our Can Do Lesson Pathway. This series of lessons teaches you how to talk about the weather in your target language. Number three, give compliments. Compliments are a great way to start a conversation. You can compliment something about your conversation partner's city, country, or something specific to them personally. Hey, your bag is super cute, or that ice cream looks delicious. These kinds of compliments can lead to further conversation about what you complimented. In this case, it could be fashion or a local restaurant. This is a great way to make quick connections with people. Number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions, ask about prices, or request recommendations for restaurants or shopping spots and let the conversation go from there. People are usually happy to lend a helping hand to tourists who are visiting their city. Number five, learn phrases for transactions. This can include getting a room at a hotel or telling a taxi driver where to go. When you're traveling overseas, you'll need to talk to other people in your target language. And while this might be a bit scary at first, you'll find that the people you meet are just happy that you're trying to communicate with them. So get started talking in your target language now. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.